Hi guys, so back with a little update. Um, on Monday, last Monday, 22nd of November, we uh, we had the cesarean and I gave birth to a beautiful, beautiful, small little package. He was six pound, five ounces. He was tiny. Um, he was dead, did he? It was also, you know, because he was in breach, his little legs were born like this and his body, it was kind of all curled over. It was ever so cute. Um, had a really, really good birthing experience. The hospital but all were great everyone was absolutely phenomenal had a great time actually to be fair it was um it was really really good everyone put us at ease and relaxed us um so had a really really good birth experience he's doing really really well now he's put on quite a bit of weight and um, his legs are starting to drop a little bit we've got to go to hospital next week to have his hips sorted to have a look at them with the pit Patrician, can never say that word. Um, have a look at his hips, see if they're working okay. Check the sockets and the joints, because obviously, because of him being bent over when he was born. Um, and that's about it, really. He's doing extremely well. I'm gonna put some videos on now so that you can see him. I'm doing really well as well. The wound is healing really nicely. I've got a beautiful, beautiful trophy scar coming on the way. Very, very bruised. Um externally and internally you can see on my stomach the the yellow bruising kind of coming in from the outside um but a totally totally worth it and when he was kind of lifted out um lifted out they dropped the veil for us to see him and it was the most amazing incredible feeling that i ever experienced in my life so we spent the last week i got discharged on the tuesday uh, tuesday evening spent the last week really kind of bonding as a family making the most of my partner's paternity leave um and it's been it's been total total family little bliss so um his name is hunter we called him hunter um and we are totally thrilled with his arrival so i'm gonna pop some videos on for you now um public reading to follow i love you all to pieces i miss you all crazy um and i will speak to you super super soon uh with the next update lots of love guys ciao welcome back i hope that you had a really good week so this week what we're going to be doing is what are your person's feelings about you we're going really deep into their emotions so for this reading spirit told me to pick up the more kind of trippy decks so you know how i'm one for creepy dress creepy decks i'm also ones for trippy decks as well i love a creepy deck i love a trippy deck and um, so this is what we're going to be using we have deck number one and deck number two deck number one is the 78 tarot carnival each picture is made by different artists so if you're interested in something that's a little bit more funky this one is good and the second one is the mystical dream tarot by janet padalato love this lady love her love her when i met her she's absolutely amazing so deck number one deck number two so i want you to think about your person feel your emotions for them within your heart center and push it to the deck you are most drawn to number one number two okay Feel the energy shifting. That's lovely. I can feel it in my stomach going over. Number one, number two. Let's do this. Okay, number one. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. Okay, so going into all your energy, pulling out the mutual energy between you all. So a bit like how we kind of work the maths average out at school. I don't know if you ever did that. Um, I used to be terrible at maths, but I used to quite enjoy doing averages. But that's how we do it, how me and my guys do it. We work with the mutual energy. Think about your person. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, emotions and thought processes? So the song that I'm getting, I'm getting a song through my right ear, kind of how we always start with my Claire audience. There is a song and it is There Will Be Miracles If You Believe. And I can't remember who sang that. 
um, but that song coming very strongly into your energy. So what is their person feeling about those watching? What is their person feeling? Deck number one. Okay. Good star. Good star. Look at the little doggy. Oh, it's so cute. So adorable. What is their person feeling? Deck number one. Okay. There is a strong connection between you guys. These cards are good. What are the feelings? Let's have that one. Nope, that's a hands up. Hands up. Spirit normally make the one cards jump out, but sometimes the hand will slip. What is their feelings? Take this one. What is their feelings about those watching? There will be miracles. If you believe. Okay. So, 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 you and your person, you've had a bit of a difficult ride. Not so much a difficult ride, but a bit of an uncertain ride with them. You haven't been sure if you're coming or going, whether you're going backwards or forwards, whether you're making headway or whether things are a little bit stagnant and things aren't really moving around you. So there has been a bit of a question happening in your guys' mind about, is this something that is going to progress? Is this something that is going to go in the direction that I want it to? Some of you guys have potentially took a step back from this connection. Not all of you, but some of you have potentially kind of took a step back and thought, no, I'm just going to focus on myself and see what happens. Now, when it comes to your person's emotions and their feelings for you, the old person does have very, very strong feelings. They do deeply care for you and do deeply love you. So we've got the kind of Queen of Cups energy stepping forward at the very forefront, okay? Now, the majority of you watching, bear in mind when it comes to astrology, I don't tend to use astrological signs when it comes to collective readings because it's too generic, okay? So with this Queen of Cups energy over here, this is signifying the mystic, the psychic, the lot of you watching, okay? Your energy coming forward. And it's also someone that is deeply loved, okay? So your person has got these really strong feelings towards you. If we look at the little cat on this, we can see this kind of mystic energy coming forward. Also with a cat, remember the cat has the one that has got the cream. Your person has got these really strong feelings for you. Okay, and they can see a future with you. They can absolutely see a future with you, which is why the cat is so mystical at the carnival. Okay, carnival deck. They can see a future with you. Okay, now how they've handled it, where they've gone with it, it has left you with a feeling a little bit of whiplash. You have been a bit uncertain about what is going on. Your person is giving you a bit, probably taking it away, and giving you this overall sense of confusion. Now they have got a bit of confusion in their own mind. The reason why they've got confusion in their own mind on this is because of potentially stuff that's happened in some of their pasts, not just ex-girlfriends, but also kind of coming back to childhood issues, a little bit of damage, trauma, difficult times has happened. So your person is wanting a future with you, but they're just erring on the side of caution until they specifically know that this is something that they're going to make headway towards. And that is where they currently are at the moment. So they've got this this kind of feeling of everything went a little bit wrong from stuff from the past. I just want to take my time with this and see what happens, see where we progress see what goes on. And this is what gives this kind of sense of confusion. But in this confusion, we also have the need for patience, okay? So they are testing your patience at the moment, but at the same time, they want to come towards you and offer stability and security. Now, there's also this feeling of internet energy coming over here. So if you're talking to them on social media, or if you are watching each other on social media, or if you're communicating through internet, so it could be WhatsApp, email, um, anything along those lines, the internet coming forward over here. Now, with the internet coming forward, this is where they will express their emotions to you. I would watch out for a couple of subliminal messages coming through their social media as well. So if you see them writing songs or, you know, things that you're a bit like, oh, well, that's a really interesting thing for them to put up, that quote, hmm, this is going to be directly kind of aimed at you, okay? The more positive energy going to be aimed at you, okay? 
they will do that as a way of subliminally letting you know how they feel about you. Your person, again, kind of coming back to this stuff that happened when they, you know, the stuff from the past, because they got hurt by that, they're not very good at expressing their emotions towards you or their feelings towards you. So what they'll do is they'll come forward with a little bit of a subliminal message and hope that you understand it, okay? And that is likely to come through the internet. So we know that your person loves you. We know that they're a little bit uncer uh, uncertain at the moment about what they're doing, but they are having this realisation. So your person hasn't been committing to you. You have this non-committal energy coming forward. Um, this non-commitment only lasts at the time that your person is in this confused energy and working through their shit, working through stuff that's happened in the past. This won't last, okay? This commitment issues will fade away. They'll go. Um, and through these commitment issues fading away, this is when your person makes these moves towards you. So there's a very dynamic shift, Spirit is saying. There's going to be a massive shift with you and your person as they make headway towards you. So most likely going to be expressing it to you through some form of internet. OK, most likely through some form of social media, they're going to be expressing their emotions for you, expressing how they feel about you. How they do really feel about you. We have the lovers over here. We have the page of cups and we have the full. OK, so page of cups speaks of an offer coming in from someone who has got very strong emotions for you. Someone that has feelings, an offer of love, potentially house moving a couple of you guys as well. OK, um, it says in the background, the magnificent page of cups It's a card of magic. It's a card of transformation. It's a card of things shifting. And it is all on the love side of things. OK. Now, with Punch and Judy in the background of this, I don't know how much of you know stuff about pagan history, but Punch and Judy does come from pagan times. So what this is suggesting through this card as well is that this relationship is one that has been around for multiple, multiple lifetimes. So the love between the two of you it has stayed strong throughout all of these lifetimes and it hasn't faded and it hasn't gone anywhere. Now, the lover's card on here is a bit freaky. Don't freak out. Lover's card over here, your person's emotions for you, your person's uh, feelings for you, how much they admire, respect and want to be with you. They see you as a little bit of a temptation in their life, okay? Um, they've never felt this way about anyone and it comes back to those previous lifetime energy. They never felt this way about anyone. So when it comes to them feeling this way about you, it can sometimes overwhelm them as well. But they can see a future with you. They can see marriage with you. They can see this uh, strength and commitment coming towards you. Okay, so they see a future with you. They're just erring, again, erring on the side of caution. They're going to go with the flow of it. All right, they're not going to be planning a future. They're not going to be overly planning and saying, right, we're going to get married in this year. We're going to have kids in this year. We're going to do this on this year. And that is exactly how it's going to work. They're going to be more along the lines of, let's see what happens. Let's just chill with it. Let's see where it goes. And with the right amount of chilling and the right amount of love that comes from the chilling, chilling Netflix, this relationship will bond and grow. Your person's emotions are there for you. They are there. They are deep. They are very deeply rooted. At the moment, you're just dealing with this kind of non-commitment. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. But if you go with the flow of it, your person's going to open up to you about how they're feeling about you. And the two of you will make headway. And Spirit just showed me a really clear, clairvoyant image of your pathways potentially being a little bit separate at the moment. But then your energy is merging, coming together. OK, so you're going through your pathways as your energies join and go forward. Their love for you is very strong. You know, their emotions are very strong. We also have a very strong chemistry between you guys, but the love rules the chemistry. The love is stronger than the sexual energy between you guys. So that's beautiful as well. Future wise, a lot of potential. Um, your person does want to be with you and their emotions are very, very real. Okay, and that is deck number one. All right, my beauties. Um, so I will speak to you all soon. Look after yourself and lots and lots of love. Mwah. Okay, guys, deck number two. So as I said at the start of deck number one, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances and situation. So let's go. Can you think about your person for me? Let's get into their deepest darkest thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes and let's look at where this connection is going and what their emotions are towards you. I often find that between the words feelings and emotions you can come up with a very different energy because how someone feels about you can sometimes be a little bit different from their emotions. Their emotions are really deep rooted within them. Their feelings for you it are, can sometimes be a little bit like 
I feel this way and I feel that way, but the emotions really bring it out. So what is the person's emotions towards deck number two? What does their person want? What are their feelings? Where are we going? What are their emotions towards deck number two? Good start, my friends. Good start. So you've got the sun and you've got the ten of pentacles to start with. Then we've gone over to the eight of swords, which is kind of standardising. That's what we go with that. Five of pentacles, judgment. Six of pentacles. What are their emotions? Okay, let's start there. Four of cups, nine of swords. So we have got a bit of a mix up in the energy with you guys. We've got a little bit of um, emotions. We've got a little bit of mind energy. We've got a little bit of uh, stability energy. And we've got a little bit of, let me just try it, pentacles, swords, cups, wands. You're missing the wands energy. OK, so what this is saying is you've got the grounding for a very good connection between the two of you. You've got the ability for this connection to go far. Um, but with the one's energy missing, it's kind of you might feel that it's a little bit stagnated, that, that hasn't got that kind of drive to move forward, that it's kind of missing that push in things shifting and changing so that card the eight of swords coming up at the top over here one of the first cards would suggest that you guys are feeling that this connection is a little bit stagnant at the moment and that's why that wand energy is missing okay so to counteract the wand energy just a few little tips that you could do uh, it might be worth you having a look wands signify fire energy um so maybe lighting some candles, really focusing on the candle, maybe scrying into the candle, bringing that wand energy into yours and your person's connection. Also connecting up with your womb, your womb space, um, whether you're male, female, the womb space very much in the sacral chakra, okay? The sacral chakra is our womb of creativity where this is where all things lie. So if you are connecting up with that space, imagine a candle being burnt within that, okay? theoretical candle within your womb space allowing that creativity to blossom with you guys you are feeling that this is stagnant you aren't sure where this is going and it's because it's missing the creativity the drive the passion for things to shift at the moment so you guys are feeling that this relationship at the moment might be a little bit like what's actually happening is it dead end you've got that sense of confusion coming on okay so really working with that wand energy is going to align the connection between you guys so what they're feeling about you, you have got happy times, you have got futures, you have got potential, you have got family, you have got overall outcomes really good and you have a lot of confusion being left in the past. OK, so the situation might have been a little bit, like I said, a little bit confusing. You've been a little bit uncertain about what is going on um, and you have felt that it might not be going anywhere, that it might not be shifting and it might not be moving. Now, your person is a little bit involved in their emotions for you, but they're trying to stay level-headed with it at the moment as well. They're very much in their mind over the connection. They're getting a thought on it, and then they're overthinking it, and then they're overanalyzing it, and they're coming up with loads and loads of different ideas over it all, but not making headway. And it kind of comes back to this stagnancy over it, okay? So your person's feelings about you are there. They have see a great potential with you guys. They see that you guys and them can have a future, um, but they were just a little bit worried at the moment that they're not you haven't got that kind of strong pull towards each other you can you've got chemistry you've got the connection you've got the bond um but both of you are a little bit worried about where this is actually going is it going to go somewhere okay now your person can see like i said they can see a future with you they can see the shiny house the white picket fence the kids they can see the whole lot with you um, but they're trying to keep balanced on it all at the moment they want to take their time with this they um I just got Taylor Swift jump them for that came up as well. They want to make sure that they're making the right choices and the right decisions with regard, regard to the connection. And that could be why you're feeling that it's a little bit stagnated. There is great rebirthing within this. So we, over here we have the salmon, okay? So salmon and druidry standing a lot for rebirth and also wisdom, okay? A lot of rebirth and wisdom happening within this connection. So 
in these kind of more down times, in this more stagnant energy, this is when most solutions will come to us. So I don't know if you, any of you have ever really kind of studied the hanged man in tarot. And even though you haven't pulled it, Spirit are drawing me to that card. So the hanged man, he stands there um, tied to the tree. Okay, but in this hanged man energy, he has these... Um, this light around his head and this shows that he has this period of enlightenment okay so when things get a little bit stuck when things aren't really shifting or moving and things are feeling as if you are not balanced as if um things are out of whack for you that nothing is really happening this is when these periods of the greatest best ideas come to us and really kind of going back to that womb energy that flame energy right at the start the ones energy in the hanged man this is when it's going to be right at the bottom of the deck there it is so on the right of weights over here, you've got your hand man energy. You see the, the enlightenment that comes from standing stagnant, okay? So one's energy really coming forward here as well, especially with it being to do with a tree, okay? One's energy always reminds me of trees kind of coming back to that creativity and that passion. So through standing in this stagnancy, this is when the creative ideas come. This is when this relationship will shift forward. So you might feel that nothing is happening. You might feel that everything is sticky and stuck around you, but through the sticky stuckiness, this is when the energy will be shifting forward for you. So quiet times provide the greatest solutions spirit are saying so your person might be feeling a little bit lonely again coming back to this energy i'm gonna stagnate it i'm gonna wait and see what happens let's go with the flow of it but you are in the back of their mind a lot they are thinking about you um their emotions for you are there they're not massively in turmoil the water surrounding you guys the emotions the water is quite calm OK, it's just that it needs the relationship needs a little bit of a push in the more fire energy. OK, working with that fire energy. You guys have got fear over this. Um, you know, you're worried that your person is just going to turn around and say, oh, no, you know what? I'm not really that interested. Is this really going to happen? Are we really going to go somewhere? Um, and it's leaving you feeling a little bit confused about it as well. Again, in their feelings for you, in their emotions for you, you are at the back of the mind a lot. They haven't shut the door on this. They're keeping the door open. They want to see what happens between you guys. You lot watching can sometimes go a little bit on self-protect, perhaps a little bit self-defensive if they're not giving you the answers and that that you seek. An awareness kind of needing on that for, for your part, uh, for you guys part, just to be aware of how your person is handling it and how you potentially react to it. Don't fly off the handle at them. Do listen to what they are saying. Um, your person will talk to you about things but then they when it comes to talking about things they tend to stay away from the emotional side of things they tend more to talk on a logical side of things and that is what can put you on self-protect a little bit with regard to the connection all right do know that underneath this kind of logical side of things these emotions do run deep but it's giving you that feeling of i'm a bit stuck i'm a bit fed up now, we have got a rebirth within this connection. We have got a balancing of yours and your person's energies out. So the connection will rebirth between the two of you. You will add this wand energy. You will add this creativity. You will add this connection, this chemistry, the shifting into yours and your person's relationship. And it will head forward, okay? It will head forward. Rebirth, okay? Balancing energies, rebirth, things shifting, things moving. And with at the very start, the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun card over here signifying the relationship moving forward. Happy times, happy outcomes, families, everything you want. Your person wants this connection with you. It's just that you guys are getting a little bit fed up with the stagnancy that comes from it. Not surprisingly, because your person is in this very strong hand man energy, um, which will be, again, why this kind of red energy, the, the sacral chakra, the root chakra, the sacral chakra energy is a little bit disaligned with you guys at the moment. But if you focus on working with fire energy, you know, lighting fires, putting candles around your home, again, visualizing the fire burning within your womb space and um, within your sacral chakra space, allowing that energy to flow through you, okay, feeling the softness of the fire. Something else you can do, and you guys have to be super, super careful, is if you want to give yourself a cleanse with the fire. Um, have I got a candle to hand? I have my massive one. I have my massive one here. Okay. So if you wanted to use the flame energy, light your candle. But again, please be super careful. Feel the heat over it. And then put feel once your hands are warm, feeling that heat, pushing it over 
your energy, okay? So heating your hands over your head, heating your hands over your shoulders, heating your hands over your arms, cleansing yourself rather than using sage for air or um, water sprinkling it, using the fire energy will help you. Do align with that fire energy for this situation to shift further into your favour, okay? It's all good, it's all good. It's just a bit stagnant as your person is um, having this bit of downtime from it all. But at the same time, they can see the potential with you guys and they can see a future, okay? There is a love between you, um, but your person's just kind of, you know, got to, got to get a kick up the boot, you know? give them a bit of a kick and they can shift it. And that is deck number two. Okay, my angels, I'm sending tons of love to you all. I will speak to you all super, super soon. Stay blessed um, and stay safe. Ciao, my loves.